Okay, today we're going to learn how to multiply a monomial, so a singular term, times a trinomial, a three-termed polynomial. Try. Okay, so um, right here we have our monomial. That's one single term, 4x, being multiplied by these three terms inside of the parentheses, 2x cubed minus 7x squared plus x. So because there's three terms, we call that a trinomial. And all of this needs to be multiplied by this single term on the outside of 4x. Now, how do we do that? We go to that property that we use all the time called the distributive property. So I like to draw lines just to remind myself not to forget to multiply by each and every one of those. Okay, I'm going to show you each and every step in this. We're going to say 4x times 2x cubed. One rule you need to understand and know is what we learned in our previous chapter with exponent rules. Exponent rules, when you're multiplying bases that are the same, an x and an x, we need to add our exponents. Now, we do not see an exponent up above that, but it is a 1. Okay, above that x, we do have an exponent of 1. So we're going to add 1 and 3 together. We also want to multiply the 4 and the 2 because they're coefficients. So 4 times 2 gives me an 8. And then I need to say x to the 1 plus 3. I'm adding these two exponents together based on the exponent rule, product rule. Okay, when you multiply bases that are the same, add the exponents. We're going to use that same product rule because we're multiplying this and this term together. A positive times a negative is going to give me a negative result. 4 times 7 is going to give me 28. And x to the first times x squared is going to give me x to the 1 plus 2. And we'll do that on the next step which many of you probably already know what it's going to come out as, and that's great. But last but not least, we have 4x times x. There's a 1 above this x and a 1 above that x. We just don't show it. So we're going to end up getting positive 4x to the 1 plus 1. And then we're going to do our last and final step where we just add our exponents together, and we're going to get our final result. So our final result is a trinomial, x to the 4th minus 28 x to the third plus 4x squared. Multiplying a monomial times a trinomial. We use the distributive property. We add our exponents based on the product rule of exponents. And we end up with a final result that is a trinomial because it has one, two, and three terms. Hopefully this makes sense and you yourself can do this exact skill on your own. Good luck on your upcoming test.